You mad. Huh? Why are you so mad? So you can continue with the lies. <clears throat> I don't care, brother. But I'm telling you now, G, I ain't got no problem with you. If they, if this causes you to have a beef with me, and you see me, and you come up on me, running up on me with smoke, remember I told you I had no smoke for you, right? So however that shit turned out, remember you was the aggressor and you threatened me first, all right? Remember you threatened me. And you said it's three crews after me, right? Remember that. You threatened me. And that go for all you people out there. I don't want to hear shit. He threatened me, okay? I don't want to hear nothing. I ain't threatening that man. I ain't disrespect that man. I ain't even call that man out his name. I ain't even say that nigga was gay or all this other shit. Oh, that nigga went and went way too far and, and act like he was my fucking friend. And talking about he talked to me for a whole goddamn year and was really waiting to see me to bring me on. That nigga is a different type of nigga. I don't know how we got here either. But that nigga is a different type of nigga. And I, I I should know that from how he doing Puff. I I Puff did a, a gazillion times more for, for this man than whatever I, I could contribute to our, our fake ass friendship. So I, I don't expect uh nothing less. You know what I'm saying? But I got the message. Yes, I was watching, y'all. I even left a few comments. They probably blocked me. But it's all good. It's all good. <sighs> Choke no joke. Y'all know what it is. Ain't a damn thing change. You know what I'm saying? Ain't a damn thing change. I'm here. I'm disappointed, but I'm here. All right? Make sure y'all hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. This is very childish. Very childish. Be more candy. But am I the one being childish? Was I being childish by saying that you know, Gene spearheaded the mo the movement and inspired people like Cassie and other people to come forth. Was that being childish or was that a fact? Even if it, it's not a fact, is that being uh, disrespectful in any way? Please let me know. He played me like a fiddle if y'all were really close. You're right. I, I would agree with you. I thought we was cool. I ain't going to say close, close, because, you know, we never really got to hang out like that. But uh, close enough, yeah, conversations and, and, yeah, spreading knowledge and information. Yeah, yeah. I, I do feel played, especially the way, the, the way he responded and uh, how he was really – Faking being my friend. That's a dangerous nigga right there. Nigga was faking being my friend. So when he see me, something was going to happen. Wow. I never met a nigga like that. I love you back, Queens mom. Never met a like, nigga like that. Hey, that's, a, that's why that, Puff probably like, damn, choke. You don't see how he doing me? Nigga, I, I done did, I done made, gave this nigga the best life.
It's sad that, man, when black men have a disagreement, automatically got to jump to violence and shit, and, and nigga got to sit there and automatically jump to the violence. Oh, these niggas going to get you, this, that, and that. Disappointing. It's disappointing. Very disappointing. Did he talk about fighting Puff or any niggas after Puff? Puff done did all this shit. All I did was say that, oh, he led a movement and it's on site with me and niggas, all that. And Puff did all this shit to him allegedly, right? And you know, you know, he ain't he ain't got no beef with Puff. But you got beef with me. <laughs> Whoa, that shit is funny. But uh, like I said, man, in my life, we've been up against the Ellis niggas. Take life as it come. You know what I mean? Typical YouTube relationship. Yeah, niggas will get on here, don't know shit about the internet. Get all your help, get some growth, and turn on you. And they can tell me, my channel bigger than yours. Okay. You, and, and for what reason? Because you're talking about Biggie and Puff. It ain't, they not coming to see your talent. Motherfuckers come to check my talent. Documentaries videos commercials shows like how many shows have you produced doing getting on here doing youtube ain't produce, producing shit nigga you think because you got more subscribers than me that you are bigger than me nigga this is my fucking third youtube channel nigga i done had a million subscribers already Like, are you serious? Views, pull up my videos that other niggas upload my videos. You think, like, are you serious? Views? You know how many views I got on different videos I have? Oh, my God, nigga. Stop it. The motherfucking Def Jam conference room alone, nigga, got fucking probably... 100 million views collectively all over the fucking internet. This nigga tripping. OG Patrice, please, sister. Please. Stay, stay on my good side, sister. I ain't got to take shit off this shit and have a conversation with this nigga. I did that. It didn't get me nowhere. He still fucking went and told him about, oh, he talked by accident. And then he went right by after. Like, I'm not explaining myself no more. Like, when the motherfucker is, uh, uh, this nigga sit, sit up there telling his story about a, a snake describing his fucking self or how he snaked me and how he snaked Puff and trying to act like he was the victim. This nigga told his whole story that defines him snaking Puff. OG Patrice be over there with Big G. OG Patrice is a double agent. I like she, I don't care who she watch. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Like I said, y'all ain't got it. Y'all don't have to choose. And if you feel like I gotta be his friend and work some shit out, I, I didn't I didn't know this nigga prior to you two. So ain't nothing to work out. Especially with the nigga threatening me. And he done crossed that line already. Work what out? You can rock with me. You don't have to rock with me. You can rock with him and don't rock with me. And I'm not going to dislike you, OG Patrice. You don't have to uh, rock with us both. If you don't want to rock with me because you rock with him, I I'm cool with that. 
But one thing I know is I'm not at fault for shit. I didn't cross this nigga. I ain't divulged no information that he didn't tell me to do. I didn't sat there and kick it with this nigga and sit there and talk about, oh, I was lying to this nigga, fake being his friend. And when I seen him, I was going to do something. Who do that? Nigga, you can say, yo, let's meet up. Let's shoot the fade. You don't have to fucking sit there and, and act like and be my friend and, and ask me questions and, and, and information about shit that and other. That shit is fake. That shit is fake. If you don't fuck with a nigga, don't fuck with a nigga. Don't be a nigga friend to get information and shit like that. That shit is fake, bro. Did you really steal that camera? Steal a camera from who? Steal a camera from who? Y'all motherfuckers just listening to anything. Steal a camera from who? Why would I need to steal a fucking camera? You know how many cameras I got? I got every fucking camera that I ever had still. 